Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excellist. This is video tutorial number 10 in a series of tutorials on creating a, an access database CRUD style application or tool, if you will. And what we're creating is just a simple customer database. We've got our customers database table with about a thousand records in there. Uh, and then we've got uh, a new customer uh, form that we created to allow us to enter new customer data as well as view the current or existing customer data. And right now we're in the middle of creating our main form, which is gonna be our main sort of user interface for the uh, file that uh, we will eventually have the file when you open it, it'll open to this main database. We're in design view here, but uh, let me go to form view. This is what it currently looks like. So in the last video, we created these visual elements, the rectangles with the background colors. We put our customer database label in here and we imported this image for our logo. In this video, we're going to start creating our buttons. So let's first start, let's go back to design view. Let's first start by creating a button to add a new customer. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna open our new customer form. So in the controls section of our design tab here, Let's go ahead and click on this uh, rectangle with the four X's and that's our button. Click on that and I'll go down here in the lower section with the dark gray, almost black rectangle. And I'll um, left click and drag that out to kind of where I want it. So we use this command button wizard before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel that. So with my command button highlighted here, I'm gonna go over to the property sheet and I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna change the caption here and I'm going to just type in add new. And then I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy and paste it in here to name, control V after uh, control C, and then uh, remove that space, add new, oops, went too far, add new customer, uh, BTN. And so now it changed that to add new. Now what I need to do in order to wire this up to where it will actually open up the new customer forms, um, form is I'm going to go to the event tab. And in the on-click event, I'm going to uh, click the triple button or triple dot on that uh, button. And uh, it brings up this choose builder dialog. And I'm going to go with the default that's already set to macro builder and click OK. And that brings up this macro builder window. And so what I want to do is I want to, there's a list of actions in here that I can choose from. But I'm going to choose the open form so I can just start typing open and notice the open form comes up. I'm going to click tab and it's going to open up the rest of these uh, fields here for me to um, make my selection. So for the form name, it's going to be new customer. I just start typing in and it brings up basically the available forms. So we just got the two. And then uh, I want it form view, but then I want to go down here to data mode and I want to go ahead and let's look at the drop down there. So you've got three options here for the data mode. You've got add, edit, or read only. In this particular case, I want it to be add because I'm going to, I want it to open up to allow you to add a new customer. So I don't want it to bring up any, you know, existing customer data. We will get to that uh, in a future video. We're going to actually create another form to allow us to view all of the customer data from the customer table and then we're going to have uh, a view where you can actually pull that uh, customer's data up in, in this basically in the add new form but we're going to redesign it to be an existing data form where you can go and you can edit and delete and things like that but more on that later so the other thing i want to do is i want to add a new action here i want to close the main form and I've been talking about this in previous videos, but I want to make this as much like a software application as possible. So I don't want a bunch of forms open at the same time. I want to, when we navigate between forms, I want to go ahead and close the form that we're navigating away from while it opens the, the form that we're navigating to. So in order to do that, I'll type CLO and we get closed database. But if I go with this drop down, let's go to the C. So we got closed database but we want to go to close window that's what i'm really looking for and that close database stuck in there so i don't know how that happens so let's go ahead and remove that command uh, so i got close window and the object type is going to be form and then the object name is going to be main so we're going to close the main form at the same time we're opening the new customer form 
and we'll just leave that save type there. I'm going to go up here to the computer disk, click on that save, close, and now I'm going to go to form view and let's test our add new button. Oh, I, I, I didn't ch save my changes to the main form previously in the previous video, so I'll go ahead and click yes. But here's what we've got. So we've got this, um, our new form on a new record, and it's showing today's date as a sign-up date. And I may, I may have done this, I don't know if I did this in a previous video, but I'll show you. I don't think I, I demonstrated that, so let me cover that here in a minute. Uh, but then I want to, um, let me close that. Let's go. Oh, you know what? So let's open up the main form. So that uh, brings us to an issue that we need to address. So I add new. And when I close this form, I actually want it to close and reopen the main form. Well, it's not doing that because we haven't addressed that. So since I did that, let's take a look. Go to new customer and let's go to design view. Let's click on that close button and then go to our on-click event. Let's uh, open that up. And again, just like we did with the um, new customer form where we closed the main form, we want to actually have this open instead of, so we're gonna do an open form event and we'll click enter. And then the form is gonna be main. And then I think, yeah, I think that's good enough. We'll click save, we'll close. And let's go to form view. Let's close. Yes, I want to save changes. Sorry. So add new, back to close, and it goes back to main. So that's what I was talking about. I wanted to be able to navigate between the, uh, I could easily, you know, change the caption on this as back to main, but I'll just click close because the main form is kind of where we want the, our center, of the, you know, of the universe to be for, for this uh, CRUD app. So cool. So we've got the add new issue. And on this sign up date, uh, let's go to the design view and let's look at that. So what we've got here, if we go to data, yeah, I think I did this offline. Uh, I didn't, didn't do this during a video, but in order for the form to automatically default to the current date, you need to go into the data tab. So with your date field selected, go to the property sheet and go to the data tab and then default value. Just type in equals date with uh, double parentheses there. So it's just equals D-A-T-E and then double parentheses. It's similar to if, you, if you're an Excel user, it's a, you know just one of those Excel type functions that gives you the current date. So let's uh, save that since I changed it. Let's go back to form view and then there you've got it. And of course, when you click into that because it's a date uh, field that we set up, originally in our database table as far as our um, value settings we um, we have this date picker so we can you can always change that but it's a cool default value so if you're adding a new order you don't have to worry about that it's today's date and you can just move on to the rest of your um, data entry so let's go ahead and test this out um, oh that brings up one obvious detail that we need to correct and that was a so I tabbed from first name and it went to email address I wanted to actually go to last name so let's address that all right so let's go back to design view and on our design tab if you go here to this tool section on the far right click on tab order and so here's your custom tab order as it currently stands so we need to fix this because I want it to tab from first name to last name and right now it's going first name to email address and there it is so the way to do that is I'm going to click on this gray box on the left side of last name to highlight that field and then in that box I'm going to left click and hold and you see that little dotted uh, rectangle at the very tail tip of the uh, arrow the cursor appears and then I'm going to uh, move up and then that dark bold line under first name shows that we've now moved the last name field right under it and I release and now we've got first name going to last name Let, let's while we're at it let's check the rest so I do want it to tab from first name to email address so that's all good email address to phone number I like that uh, we got an issue here it's going from phone to postal code so it's gonna go from phone all the way down here to postal code don't like that I want it to go to address so I need to find address down here click that left click and hold bring that up under phone so it's going phone to address then it needs to go to city I'll just continue I think you're getting the idea here hopefully and then city to state 
Yeah, they're all out of order. So let's, uh, yeah, city to state, state to postal code, postal code to country, um, country, yeah, sign up dates all the way down here. So let's click on that and bring that up here right before first name and then it's going to tab to new customer save button so that's looking good let's go back to the form view now and let me start over here uh 5004 is already the id since we started that so let me just go ahead and tab over cool everything's looking good let's look at uh adding the address phone number is So this already added uh, an input mask because we set that formatting uh, way back originally when we created our customers table in our value settings. So that carries over to our form. If we wanted to set that up and we didn't do that before, we can go to design view. And it, when we highlight the, the phone, uh, I'm sorry, the phone field, it's an input mask. So you go in here to input mask and you select what you want. This is already, you know, this already has a selection because we set that up before, but if you click on that triple dot, it brings up the input mask wizard and you can make changes accordingly. You got phone number, if you had a, you know, zip code format you wanted for that, social security numbers, uh, times, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you can actually, um, you know, you can edit that in your property sheet after the fact. So, I'll cancel that. Just wanted to show you that. Let's go back to our form view and continue what we were doing. Oh, that's not, that needs to be something else, doesn't it? That's the wrong kind of address. So let's keep going here. City, and we'll go ahead and I don't like that zero. I'm going to have to fix that. Now, the other thing is with our uh, form, the way access is set up, you could actually tab through until it tabbed back, cycles back to ID, and it would cycle back to a new one. You don't actually have to click the save button for it to save the record to your database. I put that in there as just sort of an added feature to make it a little more like a software application. So for those people that aren't, you know, access savvy, if they were to come in and use this, they wouldn't know necessarily just to keep tabbing to add that. So uh, just one of those extra things. So let's go to our customer's database. Let's open that up, and I'm going to control down, <clears throat> and there's our new record, 5004, Todd Brannon, and um, I think we got like a transient new record in there because of the sign-up date. I think that's when, uh, I don't know what I did, but somehow I must have tabbed for that to, to save that record. But anyway, you can see it's now, it is working. The new uh, form is working. And so let's go back, let's close this. All right, so let's go back to the main tab. You got add new, that's working great. Let's close that, going back to the main. So let's uh, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add the other two buttons. They're not going to be functional at this point, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that and get that out of the way in this video. So um, I'm going to go back to, sorry, I'm going to go back to design view and then go to button here. And let me go ahead and bring that out here. This is going to be, um, we're just going to cancel this because I'm just going to, Go in here and fix this. This is going to be view all in the caption, hit enter. Okay, so I want my name to be view all open button, click enter. And then let me go ahead and click over here on add new. And then I'm gonna go to format and I'm gonna go to height. Where's my height? So height is 0.25. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that control C I'm gonna go over to view all I'm gonna to go to height on view all and I'm gonna paste that so they're the same height and I believe they're aligned right but you could always check like the top the value in there in your format where it says sorry so it says top you want to make sure those are the same values 1.7083 and 1.7 so it is so I can tell by eyeballing it looked right so let's go ahead and add one last button here and this video is getting a little long sorry about that so we'll close or cancel this and i'm going to go back here to um let's go to all let's go to caption this is going to be exit app and then i'll go to name exit app btn all right so Good, so we've got our buttons. Uh, our add new button is functioning the way we want it. 
Uh, in the next video, we're going to address this, uh, these buttons. And what we'll actually do is we'll kind of take a segue into creating our view all form. And then that way we can link that up to our view all button. So it'll open that. So uh, if you're following along and everything's starting to look like that and uh, functioning well, uh, pat yourself on the back. Good job. I will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.